if a gene is incompletely dominant, then when two individuals who are homozygous for two separate alleles uh, produce offspring, then all of the offspring will be heterozygous. And the definition of incomplete dominance is that heterozygotes then uh, display a phenotype which is intermediate between the two homozygous conditions. So this would apply to all individuals in the F1 generation. In incomplete dominance, when two heterozygotes produce children, then the children will not all have the intermediate trait. Therefore, this intermediate phenotype can never be true breeding in that sense. Each of these individuals produces two types of gametes, one with the dominant allele and one with the recessive allele. And therefore, one quarter of the offspring are homozygous for one of the two traits and thus having one of the two homozygous phenotypes. Uh, one quarter of the offspring are homozygous for the other allele and thus have that phenotype and half of the offspring are heterozygotes and then have the intermediate condition. Therefore, in incompletely dominant traits, when two heterozygotes are crossed, not only is the genotype ratio one to two to one, but also the phenotype ratio is one to two to one.